All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master, and today we're taking a tour of my Matco cart that came to match my Triple Bank Revel X. All right, that is the cart. It is a powder coated wrinkle finish with orange anodized aluminum trim. It is a oh, JSC 770 service cart. Of course, on the back, I have magnets and my test leads, just like my old cart. On the side, I moved my Vim can caddy, which by the way, I added magnets from Home Depot to hold it on the cart. Instead of having it on the lid, I've got it on the side because I actually have a straight side. So up top, pretty similar to my old cart, couple magnet trays, tools I use a lot, quarter inch, Matco, impact swivel, e-torx, swivel, adapters, short extension, magnet with picks, and actually moved my valve stem tool up here for working on big trucks. I can just let the air out. My Vim triple square set. <clears throat> Down here, pretty much the same as setup as my old cart. The only difference is my torque sticks no longer sit in the screwdriver holder because I can't get in there to drill it out on the bottom side to make it a little bigger. My Astro pneumatic lug nut sockets on the side. Mirror, snap-on pry bar, screwdrivers. <clears throat> of course, if I'm... The holes aren't really that hard to find, guys. Anyway. I've got screwdrivers, flatheads. I've got three different pry bars. My Vim long screwdriver, my long Mac, trim tool, use these a lot for Honda, those little rivets, plastic rivets, long monster screwdrivers, flathead over here, Phillips, long snap on Phillips. Big Phillips from Snap-on, my Vessel impacting screwdriver, love that. I've got a Matco pry bar short. I also, that I forgot to put back up, a striking Snap-on straight. Another trim tool, more. The rest of the set of the Monster Phillips. Of course, my uh, Matco flex head and Matco and snap on flex head. Of course, I got my magnets. All right, first drawer, you'll notice some changes. Still got the mountain. Ratcheting flex heads, the snap on, zero offsets, love those. Of course, snap on 22, a snap on set from 10 with two 10 millimeters up to 19, and then I've got a Mac 21 GM side terminal tool, 11 millimeter, 9 millimeter for bleeding brakes, a gear wrench, E10, E12 ratcheting wrench, my gear wrench set, and an 8 millimeter Mac. 
all the way up to 19. And then the newest addition is the door set. It got moved up because I've got a little more room in these drawers. So I put the door set in here. Of course, I've got my impact driver, brake pad measuring device, gear wrench stubbies, various drill bits, etc., for holding European style belt tensioners. All right, next drawer down is sockets. My half inch drive stuff, extra flex head, snap on ratchet, all my extensions, a roto head, Matco ratchet, a Matco bit driver slash quarter inch drive ratchet, great tool, a gear wrench, regular. 122 3/8 ratchet. Of course, my ADV quarter inch impact set. Love that set. My Matco swivel spark plug socket set. Bunch of extensions. Matco locking extension set. My stubby wobble. Love that. Quarter inch wobble extensions actually is a mix of snap on and Matco simply because I lost a couple and Matco guy came. So, rest of my torque stick set, a Sun X bit driver set with a extra little quarter inch bit driver. That set comes in really handy. Oil chain sockets, lug, nut in, uh, lug stud installer, a couple extra spark plug sockets. I think that's a 9 16 If I can find it. No, that's a 14. And a long snap-on 5-8 spark plug socket. My half-inch drive swivels from 17 to 24 a universal impact swivel. These little stubby Matco ratchets, three eighths and quarter inch, these come in handy a lot. AST long 10 millimeter socket for BMWs. I've also got a similar set of 10 and 11 from Matco. All right, next drawer down is all my pliers, long needle nose, cutters, pliers, of course, the Nipex. Gotta have those. Hose clamp tools. Bent needle nose, trim tool, battery tool from Lang, quick disconnect set, panel tools, all my hose picks except the new snap-on set, a long panel clip tool from Matco, hood prop, shorter snap-on swivel, the Mac Daddy snap-on half-inch drive, Ratchet, a belt tool for helping get belts on. Of course, these awesome hose clamp tools from AST sold through Matco is where I bought them from. Of course, don't forget these. All right, next door down is more sockets. I've got my inverted Torx over here with my larger size that don't go in that set up here. Hex, ball, regular hex, shorties, gear wrench, swivel, chrome, shorty set of Torx, a half inch drive socket, quarter inch swivel, a quarter inch to three eighths adapter, my Matco 
hex bit set, my quarter inch drive stubby or shallows from Snap-on, my Snap-on or Snap-on, uh, Matco Silver Eagle Torx bit set. Love that set. Of course, I also have the old school Snap-on. Blue Point triple square set, VIM battery brush, snap on, ball hex, long, just long hex, metric, my bit set from Matco. And now instead of having these piled on top of each other, I can have them separate. So my VIM my long and mid-length Torx bits, and I've got my VIM long tri triple squares. All right, next door down is all of my electric and what few air tools I have left that I use. My snap-on ratchet that is a beast but rarely gets used, my Astronmatic tire pressure gauge, my surface prep tool, a die grinder with a wire wheel for cleaning brake hubs, a couple blow guns, of course, all my Milwaukee stuff, my Ingersoll Rand, and my Matco electric tools. Love that. All right, bottom drawer, I've got my brake tools my large CV axle hub sockets, box of gloves, a bunch of hammers, including a big brass. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my cart. Tour of this will be coming Friday. So I am the flat rate master. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flyrate Master.